Thank you. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, first of all, thank you uh, RK Sanders for that subscription. Alright, Braos, let's just get into this. Yes. Janelle had to out me on the Discord. <laughs> I bite my string cheese. Who cares? It's just cheese. It's... Oh, she's screaming at me from the other room. <laughs> no, Toby's attacking her. Good. Good. I'm glad that, I'm glad that Toby is. It's the worst. I know. <laughs> I never, first of all, I never eat string cheese. Well, well, then you're not allowed to have my string cheese. How can I, how does this conversation not begin with me making fun of you for eating string cheese? It has pretty protein. Are you, are you, you are you six years old? I mean, it's, let's be real. Protein. But on the other hand, on the other hand, <laughs> what's wrong with, just bite? it's just cheese. Who cares? You feel it. Oh, Jesus. It's string cheese. Mm-hmm. You. Every nobody, nobody is on your team. This isn't your stream. You're not allowed to it come in here not. right now. All right, your schedule is for Friday. You're a little early. <laughs> ah, boy. <laughs> Listen, you know that that's just like. The string cheese itself clearly is being cut from a larger block, so it itself is a large string, right? So like, who cares? Like, if it was a larger, well, I'm just saying, if it's a, if it was a larger block, it would just be a big string. I mean, it's just string cheese all the way down, is what I'm saying. 
It's just the world is made of str little strings. Uh, and this is my string theory. Um, <laughs> my string cheese theory. God damn it. Listen. <laughs> it's fine. Try it sometime. I think it's better. I think it's better. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I'm an agent of chaos. I'm. I, it, can we talk about where does the like chaotic good evil thing? Is that a D and D thing? I always feel like I'm completely out of the loop whenever those charts go up. Because do you even know? Do you? You don't know. I know what you're talking about. I don't know. You don't know where it's from. Okay. No, okay. Don't, don't laugh at me. Yeah, she didn't no, know I'm either. Not, she didn't it. know either. I had to make sure that you were on record not knowing until chat chimed in because I knew you would be like, oh yeah, it's a D and D thing. You didn't know. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's a D&D thing. Interesting that that's so mainstream, you know? Like, that's that seems like the a very fine-grained D&D thing that's just become, like, a really big, you know, general-purpose meme. <laughs> I'm not deflecting. I'm just saying I'm chaotic good in the kitchen, is my point. No, because that biting your string teeth. I think it tastes good. I mean, I don't. Listen, if we're gonna be honest, Baby Bell over Baby cheese. Bell over string cheese. Well, there just wasn't anything that was fast that I could eat. Although I could have had more Sun Chips. Delicious. No, no. no. <laughs> sun Chips are I a mean, perfect. Baby Bell is get, why, why is Baby Bell any worse? I couldn't see what I was doing. Green cheese is good. It's it's a good protein protein filter. Mhm. Mm <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. You lifted a bar. It's forty five pounds. <laughs> oh, you're the worst. That's not that's nothing to me. Being <laughs> okay. a strong man, I okay. have forty five pounds is not worth lifting. Um, <laughs> we're waiting for the we're waiting for the actual weights to ship. Uh. Some of us maintained our half of our muscle mass, <laughs> twenty-five percent of our muscle okay. mass. Uh, then you do push-ups. Mm -hmm. uh, they're still the loudest bags, actually, Cord. Uh, I, I I can confirm. I ordered some sun chips, and they are in our house. And I had some, and uh, they're green cheese. Listen, whatever, yes. it's fine. <laughs> so Where's my truck? <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Anyway, hi. Good stream content. <laughs> mm. How's everybody doing? <laughs> oh. God, now I'm actually just hungry after all that cheese talk. I'm in charge of making dinner, so that's a problem. I don't think there's anything wrong with with uh, eating basically any food the way you want to eat it. Well, that's not true. I probably have a lot of opinions when it comes to that. But I, I think specifically, like a bite, the 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 size of your bite. Violence. All right. Hi, Toby. See, Toby doesn't want any part of this. Toby's team pick. No, I think Baby Bell. I think Baby Bell, if you're going to do the, like, you know, boring cheese snack, I think I think Baby Bell. Mmm, Lunar, that's a very good comp. Um, good question. Uh, I have done it. I don't care. In fact, I actually think snapping it off is overrated because you get chocolate on your fingers. In fact, when it because you usually I'll have like the two, like the two. Uh, I guess it's like the yeah the fun size where it's just the two Kit Kats. I'll just I, at this point I just bite across it. I don't care. It's the same thing. Uh, you know what? Super occasionally I will do that too. Use the wrapper to snap it. Yeah, fair. But also like who cares? It tastes the same.
This is why Twix is a superior uh, candy bar, though. Um, thumbs already already divided. Don't have to worry about that. Um, where? What am I doing <laughs> with my life? I guess I'm gonna drop this stuff off, uh, but not there at my real base. The cats are good. We had the what? There was the uh, cereal ranking uh, going on on the uh, on the Discord. I guess we also discussed candy bars separately around Halloween, but I would put Kit Kat in my like A tier. I don't think it would climb all the way to the top, but a layer cake with twenty thin layers that you peel. Well, how do you peel it? Like, is it is it? What what are the layers? How are they how are they so structured that you can peel the cake? That's my question. Ooh, I want to see that picture. Maybe when I get out of this uh, hellish <laughs> crocodile zone, I'll uh, take a look. Whoops! Oh, didn't mean to hit that button. Twix is bad. No, 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 no. Twix is the way to go. Twix, Twix, I think, is my... Twix and Snickers, I think, are, are my two favorite uh, trash candy. Bars. Up the beat. Uh, Braille's, I have nothing. I'm still searching for more diamonds uh, currently. So yeah, the current status of this game is that I just need more stuff. <laughs> uh, I have the depth attachment researched. I just need to... Uh, I need like one more diamond, I think, to, uh, to make it. I'm having a hard time finding diamonds. Oh man, how's everybody doing? I'm having kind of a sleepy day. have a little bit of a break here and um, my, my brain and uh, oh bye Toby just everything's just sort of catching up finally um yeah and I don't mind being pointed um, those volcano caves didn't seem to have many whoa whoops <laughs> It's gonna explode, isn't it? Whoa, that's a weird effect. Oh, congrats, Lunar. Well done to you. Restrictions of easing there, that's uh... the <laughs> opposite of here. Um, okay, so I needed... Wait, didn't I need like two of these samples and why, why did I like leave all of this stuff? Oh, you know what? I don't think I saved right at the end of the stream last time, which was fine, but I think that's what happened here. I missed like five minutes of gameplay. Um, yeah, definitely need a few more uh, lockers. Ooh, I could build the freestanding one. Yeah, let's keep with the wall ones for now. I'm going to break all this down the second I get some more rooms anyway. Red's shaving kit. Does this have a use? Why do... What? <laughs> okay. Weird. Sorry, I took your kit, Fred. Uh... Okay. 
Um, Treat until we run away. Um, <laughs> okay, diamonds. If you go deep down to the mining base, there are a good number to explore for the area at the bottom of the Twisted Bridges. Or there's some easy ones you can access with tech time at one of the other bases. Okay. Mm, congrats on that, Bobby. Waiting for my uh, graphics card to ship. It supposedly will ship soon, but we'll see. All right, well, I guess I need some food and water. Uh, you know, this base is really in a bad spot. <laughs> Because every time I leave it, there really aren't like a lot of fish around that I can just easily turn into to water and food. Everything underneath here is kind of deep, and there aren't like the the tier one fish aren't uh, plentiful here. Oh wait, I guess well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I'm selling this short. Let's see. Yeah, maybe this is fine. Maybe they're everywhere. Uh, I, I, I snagged a, a 3070, um, Carl, uh, with twin frozers, of course. New creature discovered. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I'd still cancel it, but I think I'm going to keep it. I think, uh, I think it'll be nice to, uh, just have an upgrade now. I mean, they come out with these things like every year, right? So, not to. Uh, I need to upgrade again. I will do it. Make it a stream. But honestly, I don't play many games that are super demanding and I don't have like a 4K monitor, so I don't. My considerations are not that demanding. Really just want to have 1080 60 for most things. Okay, um, right, food and water. Um, yeah, it is a 14, it is a, uh, 1440p monitor um, cord. Um, I just don't usually run it at that resolution because it doesn't show up on the stream. <laughs> There's just no reason to, uh, to bother. Um, I was looking into ultra-wide uh, monitors earlier today thinking that it might solve the problem that I have um, somewhat infrequently, which is that I... Uh, um, man, I had this um, when we ended up playing Phasmophobia a lot longer than I thought on stream, uh, a lot longer than I thought I was going to on stream, um, I don't know, like four or five days ago. Uh, and I was playing full screen because I thought, well, you know, it's a spooky game, I'll give it the, the screen space and like get into it a little bit. Um, but having chat on my second monitor meant that I would like slightly turn my head every time I wanted to read it, and uh, that meant that the next day I had a real neck ache. So that's kind of annoying, and I wish I kind of just had a 30-inch or larger single monitor at this point. But this monitor isn't that old, so it'd be really stupid to get rid of it.
cheap tablet? Yeah, I mean, I've thought of this kind of thing, but I feel like... I mean, I guess I could go, like, slightly under the monitor. Um... Yeah. I don't know. When we have old iPads laying around, I could probably rig something up, I suppose. Feels like kind of a pain. <laughs> like, I like the fact that OBS has a built-in chat thing. Um, also, if I need to ban anybody or something, it's nice to have the window there where I can just type splash timeout or ban or whatever. Um, yeah, that's probably true, Bobby, although, again, like, having to look at it at all is kind of a, kind of a pain. I don't know. Yeah, and, you know, I am, like, shocked uh, that Twitch or, like, OBS or any of this stuff doesn't already have that. Um, I don't know why it doesn't. But uh, maybe it exists somewhere? I think for a lot of games it would be a little annoying, though. Thank you. Um, I don't know that I would want to make that an institutional change. Thank you, Potato. 18 months. Well, this is a dark zone. What happened here? Oh, are these the caverns? Maybe I can find those caverns again. Projecting the stream preview. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I suppose so, Circadian, yeah. Yeah, I just don't know that I even want it. I, I think what I'm doing right now is ideal. It's just, if I just had like three more inches, if I had a 30 inch monitor, it would be perfect. Things are just like a little jammed on a 27. And uh, it basically screwed up. Um, I've never really liked this monitor. I mean, it's fine. Um, they, uh, it's an Acer um, Predator. Not the best title. Um, and uh, the HDMI input has never worked. <laughs> it's bizarre. Um, and it also has this weird glitch where occasionally uh, it's like missing a line of pixels down the center of the screen. Like you can tell that there must be like a pa like two panels that make up the monitor or Warning. something. Maximum um, and uh, the effect of it is that like every word like on a web page, every word straight down the middle looks like um, like they're just certain letters that are just kind of. It's really hard to describe. I can't take a screenshot of it, of it obviously because it's not something that's system side. It's the monitor itself. Just turning it on and off fixes it. Um, but for a couple months I thought like, man, there's a weird Windows glitch where like letters are just uh, missing some pixels down the middle and it turns out it's just a monitor. Um, okay, so how do I find these diamonds? I guess I go straight down like in the center. Warning, parsing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oh, did I do Iron Oxygen Man for the original? Efficiency I guess I should have done that for this, if there was an option to do that. This is technically, I'm going to call it a permadeath run, but I, I didn't know that there was like a way to do it. Uh, Isis, I can't afford the, the rebreather. I need, I need more diamonds or something. Anything. Mer. Uh, yeah, Carl, these games are great. I, I think the original, honestly, like so far, I feel like the original had more striking environments. Um, 
overall, but I haven't seen much of this game, I guess, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I didn't really say that yet. But, uh... Oh, yeah, maybe there is an actual permadeath mode. I mean, I, I haven't died yet, so I'm, I'm, and if I do die, uh, I don't know that I would restart at this point, but I'm, I'm just hoping I don't die, basically. <laughs> I should have made a med kit. Uh, yes. I'm on health a little bit. Anyway. Nope, I haven't died on this playthrough yet. Um, I restarted when I died the last time. So, this is, in fact, still good. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, so the issue with the original is that um, you can't get in a rut where you just haven't run across the right fragments that you need to progress the tech. Um, I honestly recommend just using the wiki at that point. not it's not much of a cheat to just know like in these general areas you'll probably find these pieces um, but uh, yeah I can definitely appreciate like getting frustrated that you haven't found any new stuff recently I'm kind of having that experience right now although I have a decent amount of things that I simply can't build because I can't find any stupid diamonds Yeah, so I really don't want to do that, Aeon, because, uh, well, for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go to the mining zone and see if I can find some more there. Yeah, I know I'd have to do the same thing in the mining zone, but I feel like I understand the topography better and would be less likely to panic. Um, so. uh, strange that this is the way they're gating this, though. I kind of wish it was not this harsh. <laughs> uh, it feels like they are forcing you to take like a massive risk just to get the depth upgrade, which is weird. Now, what did I need for the rebreather? I think, uh, I think I can. Oh, no, you know what? I can't afford that. It's just that I needed more. All right, let's get that before I do this. I just needed more creep pine stuff, and it just wasn't near the dumb. The dumb base that I built. <clears throat> I kind of miss the Seamoth. Like, I kind of miss having a, like, really fast early vehicle to kind of zip around and get from base to base. Anyway. The Seamoth is about the same speed. I feel like the Seamoth with the. I, isn't, there like a, isn't there like a speed upgrade for the Seamoth? I feel like it definitely went faster than this. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Uh, what's going on? I gotta get my Thanksgiving stuff in order. I almost forgot to order Cairo syrup, which would have been a disaster. Kind of hard to find. Luckily, got that order in. Con pie is a go. Oh, I forgot I have all these. Is there still stuff in here? Oh, there is. Oh, look at that. Oh. 
Well, with this, I can definitely just go back to the other base and build it. That's all I'll do. Oh, and I should take this up. Uh, so, um, use the syrup in, in, in the pecan pie filling ISIS. It's basically like a very dark orange syrup. Um, uh, when mixed with sugar and egg, it, uh, turns into this kind of molten molasses-y stuff, and it's very... I'll put my pecan pie recipe up against any pecan pie recipe, but also maybe against any pie, period. Pretty good. I just made an apple pie that turned out yeah, it was pretty successful. Um, although it was frustrating because I used two different kinds of apples, and one of them was really good and the other was not, and I couldn't tell which one was the good one. <laughs> so I don't know. I didn't, I didn't gain any knowledge from that experiment. I was like, hmm, I think these are the Granny Smiths, but maybe they're, I don't know. I used Granny Smith and uh, Fuji. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Bill, you haven't tasted my pecan pie, I have to say. Uh, it's unlike any pecan pie you probably had. I'll throw that out there. This is that pilot location, but I didn't see anything down there. Oh, let's not talk about savory pies, because I'm going to get cantankerous. <laughs> Although maybe we should, because the Europeans aren't here. <laughs> it's a little safer right now. <laughs> savory pies, good lord. Puddings and pot, savory pies. enough can only take a pie so far. <clears throat> ooh, this hard, ooh, abominable. I, I, I really, I, you know, <laughs> if it was easy to do right now, I would ship you a pecan pie. I, I actually would. Um, yeah, I mean, chicken pot pie is good, sure. But, uh... I didn't post the recipe in Discord. I can do that. <clears throat> Maybe we need, like, a, uh, a recipe sub-channel or something. Where, uh... Only posting recipes is allowed so they kind of stay pinned as opposed to, like, discussion. I guess we could just pin them in food and drink. It would just be like a pin list that's super long, but maybe that's, yeah, that's probably fine. I wish Discord pinning worked a little differently, but it'll work. Okay. Um, right, so I need these two. Oh, I also need silver, I believe. Let's see. <clears throat> Hey, Frambus. Oh, do we have a Google Doc? I don't know. Um, rebreather. This is going to take firing dead. A good mushroom pie. Um, 
I mean, so no, I mean, I haven't had a mushroom pie probably in my life. But uh, what I have had is the mixture that goes in like a beef wellington, which I assume is probably close to what's inside a mushroom pie. I could be wrong. That's just my like uneducated guess. I'm not going to eat this food even though it's tempting. I mean, look, I'm not saying that, like, savory pies are universally bad or anything. I guess my point is that when people start talking about savory pies versus sweet pies, it seems like there are people who are just like, sweet pies are trash. Which I, I sometimes bristle at, if only because I know that most of them actually are. And the problem is, is that, like, store-bought pie is usually just really bad. And so it, it bums me out that pie, like, sweet pies have such a reputation and I think most of it is just simply because a lot of them are really bad um. hey Toby Toby just walked in and was like staring at the wall now <laughs> what's in there do you see something do you hear something what's going on yeah I think that's true circadian yeah and and yeah, I think it just it just makes me sad because I just feel like, well, you know. I don't know definitively, but I'm gonna guess that if you go to uh the UK for instance, uh they're probably not making very good sweet pies over there. In the same way that they're not making very good pizza or like, you know most things. <laughs> um Yeah, you know, it's funny, um, <clears throat> a lot of what they bake looks for it, yeah. It's funny what things have made it around the world at this point and, and what, you know, what foods and sort of regional foods haven't. Um, you can definitely look at some stuff and go, oh, that'll be the new popular thing in like a few years, you know, like that's clearly just something that, uh, for whatever reason. Hasn't hit the global food side guys, but will soon. I'm trying to think of something off the top of my head like that, but um, I think living in Canada was surprising in that regard because I kind of assumed that most popular American foods would have made it to Vancouver, which is not far from Seattle, for instance, but uh, very different. In some in some respects, so. Oh, I should uh, make some med kits for this permadeath run. Uh, okay, fiber mesh, and that requires what more creep line samples, I think. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go back to the other base zone. And... Oh, but first I should cook all this food. Uh, fried pickles I've seen in a number of different states. I feel like it's made it around. Um, I just feel like it's the kind of thing that only certain types of establishments are going to have. Usually, like, pubs and, you know, drinking places. Oh, I love pickles, man. My my homemade pickles got to be pretty good, although I'm having a hard time finding Kirby cucumbers.
I have gone back and forth on Bubby's pickles. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Bubby's. Bubby's are like, um, I think it's based in New York, but uh, you can find them in grocery stores. Um, they're very, uh, <laughs> they're very bubbly, you know, fermented, um, and incredibly salty. And the, the salt content, I've gone back and forth. I really liked them when I first had them, and then I bought them recently and went like, oh, this is just so salty. But now I'm kind of back on the train, I don't know. The liquid is just like, I mean, the brine that it comes in is, oh, it's, it's almost opaque. Um, All right, so what am I doing? Right, pre-pines, yes. Man, there was this pub in Vancouver that was not a good pub, um, but it was like the first pub that Janelle and I found that we really, uh, well, it was actually in the, sort of adjoining the hotel that we stayed in while we were looking for an apartment there. And, um, <clears throat> Well, there, is the, there was a good pub across the street, like an actual good Irish pub uh, that had actual, you know, they knew how to pour a Guinness and they had good food. But this was kind of the more mass market shitty version, although they had this Irish stew that was so good. I should try making Irish stew again. It's not like complicated or anything, but it did hit the spot there in the, uh, in the time. Uh, no, it wasn't the Morrissey Slade, although we did go to the Morrissey several times. That was actually, the Morrissey is a block away from our first apartment. Um, but, uh, no. Oh, God. It was Doolin's, if anybody's from Vancouver and knows, knows what that was. But um, they've turned it into an awful, like, faux boot. Everything in Vancouver that turns into, like, something that they think is going to be upscale just comes off as like a joke to say <laughs> like it's just it's if they turn it into this place that's trying so hard to be a restaurant that would make it in like san francisco or new york but it's just so far from it oh god it it really does feel like sometimes vancouver is being designed by an alien that's read about america or something i don't know it's very strange but um <laughs> Uh, no, but they did have Sunday specials, Isis. Um, I thought I had... Oh, no, I'm, I have to get the creep vines first. It's like stew time, I think. I need to make some stews. Can I just chop these up? Yep. It's so funny to me that the animation is just this and they've never changed it. I guess you're underwater and like slashing something so it's always gonna look pretty goofy <laughs> it just feels like the goofiest for sure the goofiest choice they could have made <laughs> god i haven't had chili in so long i had this problem though where like i grew up having just like shitty chili which i kind of like you know just like the chili recipe on the back of like the French's chili seasoning or whatever. Um, but then I went to find like a real chili recipe a couple months ago and they're like a hundred ingredients long. And it's like this whole Texas chili versus other chili debate and like everything it just takes. I, I, I just kind of lost patience. Oh, right, med kits. Right, right, right. Oh, Brian, I... Damn, that just reminds me that... 
We had all these persimmons delivered to us in our CSA, and I was gonna make something out of them, and they're probably just going bad in our fridge now. I'm gonna make like persimmon jam or something. I don't know that they ruin everything, Ford. <laughs> I like good food too sometimes, but I, I was mystified by just how many ingredients a bowl of Texas chili took. I know you don't have to make that, but I, I, I was like, well, I'll, I'll try it. And then I looked down the list and I was like, oof, too much, too much. All right, we're gonna attempt some deep dive in here. Did I get the rebreather on? Okay, I did. Oh, hang on. I never thought about having two oxygen tanks. I don't know why that never occurred to me, but it's a good trick. I'll give this a shot. Oh, is that, is that just a sea truck fragment or is that something new? Yeah, we had uh, we had fresh apples in our CSA the other the other week. They were really nice. Although Janelle can't eat them because she's allergic, so that's why I made that pie. And eat them if they're cooked. All right. Mmm, thirty-one percent on the sea truck power. Happy about that. Whoops. <laughs> okay, here we go. Probably not going to go all the way down on this run here. Oh, I also have not much slide left. That's maybe a bigger problem. Didn't notice that. I'll swap out another battery. Yeah, the rebreather is helping a lot, isn't it? Okay. Uh, hopefully, there are some diamonds like right near the front. You can definitely peel an apple. Oh, hello. My dad used to peel apples all the time. I think maybe you were being sarcastic, though, Circadian. Not open to access. Oh shit! Ah, where are these diamonds? I feel like an apple doesn't take too long if you you know improve your paring knife skills. You do the uh, the spiral. You know, you just kind of. Hold it with your thumb and work around in the spiral. It's not too bad. All right. Well, that was a somewhat successful dive, and then I. I think this is possible, but I battery's running low here. I'm gonna have to uh, pop out a battery. Oh, I have a spare battery. Okay. So do these O2 plants regenerate fast enough that if I hit them on the way in, I can hit them on the way out as well? 
Okay, Aeon. See, that's why I haven't been doing it. I've been saving them for the trip back, but I guess I don't need to. Alright. Good to know. Peeling things. Uh. Oh, what is this? Um, probably don't need it. Oh, no, I do. Um, peeling things is is, is legitimate in that um, some people have a hard time uh, digesting skins. Play, um, like potato skins are like number one on like the IBS list. So uh, if your tummy hurts a lot. Maybe look into that and start peeling things. What is this? Builder, don't need that. Okay, now I'm getting a little nervous because I haven't noticed another. Oop, there we go. I haven't noticed another. Oh boy, this is getting pretty deep too. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm going to go back. Uh... Want to eat an unpeeled potato? I mean, I love potato skins. Um, I roasted some potatoes last night using the crispy Kenji method, and they were really good, but... Um... Yeah, you parboil them first. Yeah, this is a mine. This is like a pre-existing company mine. I can't believe how scarce diamonds are in this one compared to uh, the original. Okay. Talk about like peeling devices and things. It reminds me that uh, Janelle was talking to her mom uh, last night, and uh, her mom brought out this like really strange implement and was like, "Can you guess what this is?" And we were like, uh, "No, what? What is that?" Uh, <laughs> we were trying to figure out what it was. It's like a, a sort of a thing with a handle with a long. It looked like a screwdriver, but on the end of the screwdriver, instead of it being a screwdriver, there was like a four point. Thing. Anyway, it was very confusing. We didn't know what the hell it was, and turns out it's something that she bought just only to mash up ground beef. <laughs> its whole purpose was ground beef you masher. Synthesized. Um, God, where the hell are the diamonds? I'm scared. I'm gonna head back now. Well, like Elvac, like if you put a like a, a large block of ground beef in a pan, it's it was just, you know, to break it up. Um, I guess that's leading back up. I'll take one little peek this direction. Oh, all right, grab this. New blueprint synthesized. A little worried now. Yeah, I did get a second diamond, so I think in theory I can now build that dev upgrade. But see, that's not going to help me with this section. Um, I would need the prawn suit, I guess, which is what I just got uh, upgrades for. Mashing Oreos? Is that for, like, Oreo crusts or something? Okay, what did I actually... Oh, I only got one out of four on the prawn suit. There's so many prawn suits down there. 
I guess I'll do one more trip and see if I can get the front seat. A pot liquor? Ugh. That, that sounds, what is that, Brian? I don't, maybe I don't want to know. I mean, I was literally thinking, like, yeah, that's what a dog's for. Um, oh, like dirt pie? Yeah, definitely. Uh, as a kid, we we had uh, occasionally moms would send in some dirt pie. What you put gummy worms in it, right? And mousse, chocolate mousse. Okay, we got another air thing here. What is this? New technology. Yeah, dirt pie. It's like um, you have a dirt layer, which is the crushed up Oreos. And then underneath that is the chocolate mousse, which is like the, uh, you know, sediment layer. <laughs> it's like the mud layer. Um, and then in that you put uh, you put like gummy worms and stuff. Classic dessert, classic Midwest dessert. Oh my God, I'm so close to the damn prawn suit. I need one more thing, but I don't want to die over it. Wait, did I just miss? Wait, did I just get this one or did I miss it? Okay, I gotta go. Oh, I'm getting claustrophobic. Uh, come on. Damn, I need one more prawn suit piece. Did I already get this one? I think I did. Oh, I didn't! Hey, okay. Coming back with the prawn suit. New blueprint synthesized. Although, how, without the sub, isn't gonna maybe uh, maybe there's a sea truck uh, component that would hold the prawn suit. Otherwise, it's gonna be kind of annoying. Avocado cover? What? Or cutter? Wait, avocado hugger? Wait, what is that? Why do you need an avocado cutter? You can just put a knife in the in the pit and just twist it. plastic shell that you put over the exposed part of half an avocado. I mean, I, well, sure. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I mean, I mean, aren't, I mean, avocados are of different sizes often, though. Like, wouldn't that be kind of an issue in terms of uh, a plastic shell that fits your, your particular avocado? Fascinating discussion. Completely disturbing, but it's fascinating. <laughs>
What is what grabbling? What? Grabbling? Oh, a pot like there's like an icing spatula? Okay. So it's it's just like a rubber spatula? Okay, well that was a very successful trip. Let's see what we can make. Welcome aboard, Captain. This upgrade requires plasteel. Plasteel is any ingot and lithium. Right, and the enamel glass is what we need the um, diamond for, and that's lead and glass. So, have enough lead, looks like it. Got enough glass? Mm, maybe not. Alright, gotta go grab some quartz, and then we'll be good. Um, yeah, and I think I'm going to get the sea truck upgrade first. That could be incorrect, but I think, uh, it feels more pressing to me currently. Um, right, I'm just going to get some ports, which I should probably just use this. Not very successful quartz finding mission here. Not, not a good one. Uh, whoa! Uh, have I found this before? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. charge my batteries while I'm doing this. Okay. I'm 
probably back towards the original pod. Ports. Ah, oh, now I just want to make a stew. But we're making fish for dinner instead. <laughs> fish stew. Eh. I like my fish crispy. Oh boy, what's happening? Did not like that. Let's go away. Wonder what that was. Get as much quartz as I can find because uh, base building usually takes up a lot of that. The windows. I wonder if the um, the knife, like the uh, hot knife, the burning knife thing is still in this game. Uh, if it's not, I should probably be picking up more um, more uh, salt so I can make some food that will last a little bit longer. Full of stuff. Uh, I think there are literal reapers in this uh, default. I've run into one. Um, I don't know if there's anything bigger or more dangerous than that, though. <laughs> I'm sure there is. I mean, I'm sure also the stuff on land I know is. That's going to be the hardest thing about this permadeath run. I'm probably going to want to find some kind of weapon uh, other than a knife or spray. I'm not sure onto the island too much. Ha <laughs> 
I kind of liked the uh, the goofy uh, cavern monster that uh, that was in Subnautica one. I don't know if I'll ever have a better stream moment than the uh, <laughs> than that Reaper moment in the first uh, Subnautica series. That was so good. Maybe maybe something equivalent will happen with this one. I liked the Sea Dragon. Felt bad for it. Felt like it was more of a puzzle than like a, a real uh, threat, which I kind of like. Yeah, I mean, I do miss the sub, but let's get this truck built out and maybe it'll be. Sub like. Okay. Oh, right. Enamel glass. I guess to make the, um, whoa, quantum locker. Oh, it's like the, um, the ender box. Huh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I need to make a couple of things at this point. I need a laser cutter, but I also need a uh, vehicle bay. Upgrade console. Oh, I also have the bioreactor. I want to make aerogel. Hmm. I definitely don't have any gel sacks. I got a few rubies. You know, it's funny. I was actually thinking about this. Uh, earlier today because I saw some mech game um, and I was thinking man a version of like Death Stranding but like less about cutscenes and more about just like uh, you know you've got maybe like your mech thing that you're kind of slowly upgrading uh, essentially just like what if some mech Death Stranding was like a little bit more like Subnautica oof that would be uh So, and there's also the modification station. Oh, wait a minute. Definitely have to make one of these. Uh... The jukebox lets you listen to music in your base. No one said survival couldn't be funky. 
<laughs> Perfect. It's very loud. <laughs> I like the visualization. Very good. The in game Winamp skin. Uh, it was RK, yeah. Okay, it's really good that you're gonna hear the muffled music playing still. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta ditch all these fish. God, I forgot about the number one threat to uh, permadeath runs in this game, which is eating a bunch of spoiled fish in a row without noticing that it's spoiled. Careful. Okay, so I've upgraded the dumb sea truck, and yet my biggest problem is still I don't have the power cell charger. That's gonna keep running out of batteries. Um, There was a, a PC mod for Death Stranding that just removed all of the floor <laughs> and like started you, you know, two hours into the game. Maybe I would uh, play and finish that game. But... Yeah, it's tempting. Maybe once I get my new graphics card, play it. Oh, it's these little uh, goobers. <gasps> no! Oh my god, what? Oh. Wait, have I been warped? What? Oh. <laughs> that was really scary. Don't like it. Wait, why am I still... My character is groaning. Uh, oh, I'm still, like, hallucinating. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that was weird. Oh, oh, wow. Ah. scary. Ah. Okay, this is a little loud. Oh, that's the volume. Oh, okay. Kojima cutscenes are, you know. Oh, Let's not get into this today. Uh, <laughs> um, I probably want some more. Uh, you know what? Now screw it. So what am I gonna do now? I I have the depth upgrade. I'm gonna run out of power cells. I guess I have to. I'm just forced into crafting a few more. I guess. I can't charge them, but I can craft a couple more. 
So I should do that actually before I leave. Whoops. Very odd. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Oh, that's fine. All right. Um, you have this one that's sort of. So it's two batteries and silicon rubber. I've got one silicon rubber. Yeah, I need some more modules for sure. I don't know where to find them. Yes, I could go on the. On the on the mountainous island coast thing. Uh, Starting a garden is probably not a bad idea. Sick. I'm getting tired of having to cook fish. Okay. Oh, a headlamp. That's cool. Ion battery. Oh, I didn't even notice that I got these. I just need two more for each. Thick fibers. I roll plant clipping, okay. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll go to the mainland and just sort of poke around a little bit, see if I can find some easy technology pickups. I'll be behind the jukebox if it's possible to mod in your own tracks. If, if there's a folder in the Subnautica folder that says, like, custom music, then I'll be fine with it. But, uh... It has to be that weird, like, Mass Effect club music that I'm referring to. There is. Okay. Well, great. I can put a lot of really excellent music that will get nulled out by Twitch. <laughs> I saw, let me, I gotta look up this thing again. So the, the Altera, right. So, okay, that's where my, okay. So there are two bases that I can go to basically at this point. So I guess I'll try this one first.
Oh wait, yeah, what? <laughs> well, it's in the music folder. Oh, that's very strange. So who uses the music folder? Weird. The music folder for music. Oh wait, this is the starting area, right? Or no? No. It's a separate valley in this right. Every time I want to go on land, there's always a massive storm and I can't see anything. Okay, so this is the island here, right? Yeah, that's the island. Okay, so then north of here, although yeah, I probably should have made that compass, it actually might be useful now that I've got a map. Imagine it's this direction. Oh, wait. Hmm. Is this part of the island, though? the mainland. I think this is part of the island. Wait, where's the... Oh, maybe it's not? the roots like these things oh what is, what is this oh oh that's really nice This is the island. Then I think that's the mining zone, that's the pad. And I'm gonna wanna go like this direction. Wait, is this the mainland? Well, I guess this is the mainland. Hmm. Okay. Find a way onto the mainland then. This is like a really cold spot, though. To... <laughs> this is probably a bad idea. Um, maybe I can make it to uh, something warm in time. Danger of sweater approaching. Oh, Seek God. shelter. Not looking good. <laughs> She's making very cold sounds and I'm not cold anymore.
I imagine I'm like over here. I think I've got to go like a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think this might be a bug where this is just stuck on. Oh, it went away. Okay. This is the one frustrating thing about the land in this game, is that so much of it is inaccessible. I guess I should be placing beacons where the, uh, where there are, like, on-ramps. Uh, having to, like, pop my head up over and over, like, this is kind of annoying. this spot here. I think this might just be the tutorial for the opening of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I can go this way? Oh, am I going to need the laser cutter or something? Hmm. This is definitely the beginning. Get to this thing. Whoops. Oops. There's nothing useful here. See if we can orient ourselves. So that's the we have. I don't know. I don't know where this base is in, in the in relation. I don't have a fabricator on board this thing yet. Basic. So. Gonna see if I can find a different way. Up. isn't anything? No. <sighs> what is happening? I can't get on top of my truck.
I'm not quite sure why there's a top hatch and not a bottom hatch. It's nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, I think this is bigger than just the seat in this module. Also, there's no reason why it couldn't bigger for that reason. Um, what the heck? I mean, they could have just made it like that and put a hatch in the back, or this could have just been the entrance for all matters. All right, let's go. Somewhere. Dangerous weather approaching. <laughs> Seek shelter. Oh, that's a jellyfish just above water. Weird. Well, this doesn't look like an actual way forward, and it's cold, so... I guess this way more. Right. It's so dark now. Ah, yes, okay. But uh, it's a little dangerous from a cold weather standpoint. Um Any like, oh, is this like a thermal vent that will heat me? Not turning on. <laughs> Guess I'll just go jump in the water. Uh. There we go.
Oh, this bridge, right. Um, I wonder what the deal is with this bridge. Is it like make bridge pieces or something? Go back to the console? Okay. get up there. Or here, I guess we'll... Oh, I didn't notice it had slots. I didn't, it's so dark. Oh, these things. No? No. Check fluid levels. Uh, okay. Oh, hydraulic fluid for operation. All right. Funny when that gets triggered, the like uh, damage screen, and then I look at my health and have lost maybe like a fraction of a single hit point or something. It's a very severe, uh, <laughs> severe sounding moment for something that doesn't actually hurt me that much. Oh, did I get the blueprint for the stuff? I think so. It didn't seem scannable, though. Well, I gotta go back that way anyway to get back to my, um... Whoa! Get back to my, uh, e-truck. Ooh! Whoa, why signal lost? Oh, two cubes, nice. Oh, all right. Well, this isn't going to do anything for me going more in this direction. Um, dark, it's over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go back and grab that scan that I missed. But it seems like maybe this is all there is here. I really understand. I guess. Oh, here's the bridge. Oh, so we're going to go further south. But I don't remember how to get there. Maybe there's like a cave or something that you go through.
Yeah, I don't know if the bridge is a shortcut to that stuff or what. I mean, the bridge, it looks like the bridge might give you access to this base. Maybe not. Maybe maybe this is just the polar bear, polar polar zone, whatever. Polar polar bear crocodile. I don't know what the hell they were. Okay. Uh, what? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. Oh my god, it's right there. New blueprint synthesized. Okay, uh, yeah, so it looks like maybe if I go this way, there might be stuff. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier, Fire Robotics Center. Hmm. Wish I had a gun. I'll go in. Ah. Phi Robotics. This is where Sam worked. Oh, right. The hover pad thing. New technology acquired. working here. She told me so. Oh yeah, <laughs> stupid spy penguin. Okay. What another map? New blueprint synthesized. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Yeah, I mean nothing is right about any I mean this whole place is trashed. What? <laughs> Things not right. Um I'm hungry. I guess I'll wait to eat. That thing usually gets a lot of food points. Um, I'm very excited about the spy penguin. Much stuff. Hmm. A long scan. New 
your blueprint synthesized. I just want the power cell charger right now. That's the one thing. Fine. Oh, a fridge? I wonder if, uh... <laughs> scan for a big room. Oh, there it is! It was right in front of my nose as I was saying it. Yes. New blueprint synthesized. Oh, that's a relief. That is a big relief. That gets really annoying. Here we have a teleporter. And spooky music. Um... I don't know that I can do anything with that right now. Yeah, I think I found everything I can find in here. Um, potato, I can always add more... Um, solar, but yeah, I should probably upgrade to something else. Maybe I'll just make an underwater base finally, because it seems like I'm going to want something closer to the island. Um, I do have the bioreactor, although I don't know, yeah, I don't think I have the stuff to make it. But I've got the, uh, the I'm afraid that this is where this starts to get dangerous and I do not want to die. Dangerous weather approaching. <laughs> Seek shelter. Excellent. I hope the game like warns me. Well, I guess these bones are warning. To some extent, but... <gasps> Fuck! Oh god. Yeah! I don't know where I am. I don't know that I wanted to go this way. I think this might be more polar bears. I can see over this. <laughs> oh. I feel like I can hear bears. God, everything is that way. I'm just going deeper and deeper into this. Feels like a bad idea. I'm also getting really cold and I have no visible way to remedy that. Oh, I'm not feeling good about this. What are you? What are you? What are you? And there's water down there. Oh shit. Not much time. I don't have much time. I don't have much time. No! Ooh. I gotta get in the water. Uh. Oh. Giant monster <laughs> approaches. Okay. That was really tense. I did not like that at all. Um, yeah, it's penguins. Uh, hopefully that means that there aren't predators around. Seek shelter.
Probably penguins. Uh, seems like a thing I need to melt, maybe. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Thing's gonna stop the second I get to it, isn't it? Okay. Oh, there's a little baby one. Okay. I feel really bad about this. Uh, maybe I will just go this way and try and find my way out the water. Oh, this doesn't feel any better. <laughs> this definitely doesn't feel much better. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so scared. Hate this. Oh. God, that's tense. Yeah, I really don't like the claustrophobia. <laughs> it really bothers me. I'm not usually a claustrophobic person, but when I get lost in those mazes, it's just... Uh... Oh my god. I'm just not going to turn around. Oh! He didn't notice me. Blah. Um, what the hell? Oh my god. This is a nightmare. How the hell do I get out of this? Yeah, he's coming for me. Oh my god. Um, I'm getting cold. Oh no. I'm gonna just double back and get under the water. Wait, is this like a cave? Does this count as a cave? Okay. I don't know what to do, Aeon. I don't know where to go. I'm so deep into this now. I'm really... This is just a big loop. Oh, this is the water. Okay. I wonder if I can keep going from here and find something. Find a way out. Ah, this seems like a one way trip, though. I like the one. Uh... Is this technically going in the right direction? Oh. This is new. Oh, no, I'm back at the... <laughs> I'm back here. I mean, I guess I could just... This is not at all close. But I know I did come from this direction, so I should just maybe backtrack. Did I come from this direction? I don't know. Oh, there's a scary guy that way. I don't remember that scary guy being there. This feels better. Oh yeah, this is the bone zone. Okay. Uh, oh. Go to the left. Okay, he's going to the left. Okay. Nope. 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 
Damn it. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I have to go through here. I, 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 I. Okay. Um. This might be the safer way through, ultimately. I think if I just stick to the left here. Yeah, and then. Wait, I went in a circle. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not technically playing on permadeath mode, but I'm 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 treating it as if it is a permadeath run. Um, I don't understand what just happened. I, I I mean, I definitely just went in a circle, but I don't know where I went wrong. Yes. I have to go past the little ones? No. Oh, shit. I don't know where to go. Um, I thought I came in from a different cave, though. Dangerous weather approaching. Take oh, shelter. come on. It's just nonstop dangerous weather. Maybe I came in from up here, maybe? This seems better. Oh. Oh, 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 ow. Well, I've never been here. Uh, <laughs> I guess at least I'm finding stuff. There's some stuff over this way. Oh, it's just these things. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is where you use the spy pangling. That's right. New technology acquired. That's cool. Okay. Fuck this. <laughs> um, God, I'm so far from anything. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter.
I keep thinking I'm making progress and then I end up being, uh, oh. are cool trees. Oh, it's temp a temp glacial tree. My favorite kind of uh, glacial tree. Oh, they're monsters, though. Looks like I can probably go over land here and make some backtracking progress, but it also... I'm a little worried about freezing to death. Does this help? Nope. Okay. Feels like it must be possible to use the underwater caves here to navigate this entire area, and I'm just not making the right turns. I guess turning the map on would help, huh? backwards right now or not. They're so, <laughs> so twisty-turdy. They've never been here. this good? Did I want to come up to the top of the... I don't know if that was like backtracking or... This seems... Ooh, this seems promising. This might be... Yeah, I think I'm getting closer. Getting out of here. Oh, yep. Yeah, we're back at the uh, robotic center. Okay. Wow. <sighs> that was pretty intense. I thought I was gonna die. Uh... Oh my god, if I had died to that... Oh! I came through here on my way uh, in. Oh, man. 
That was extremely, extremely stressful. I was thinking about playing like some solo Phasmophobia today, and um, I think that would have been less stressful than this stream. Um, but uh, hey, permadeath uh, continues. And uh, I got a lot of good stuff. So next stream, I'll be building things. It looks like, um, now what did I get? I got, uh, where's that? Um, no fox. I need magnetite. Uh, that sounds like the kind of thing I'm gonna have to like go really deep for. Um, but yeah, the uh, five pangling looks achievable. And then, um, yeah, what's this uh, fluid? Creep vine and gel sac. So, all right, a couple things that seem like relatively low uh, hanging fruit for uh, for next stream. And maybe I'll build a base like right here, just so that I don't have to keep uh, <laughs> going back and forth to this base that's super far away. Anyway, um, I will see you all then. Uh, I'm planning on streaming tomorrow, probably a little, starting a little bit earlier, um, and then, uh, tomorrow's Friday? Oh my god, I thought today was Wednesday. Uh, I'm like very, very all over the place this week. Um, oh, thank you, Potato. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm going to stream this tomorrow, and then it's seven-ish, probably. Jen and I are going to stream Phasmophobia, which will be fun. But uh, anyway, I will see you all later. Take care uh, and uh, stay safe. Bye.